I'd like to make a quick comparison of some of the file managers that I've experienced in Ubuntu. And first off, uh, Nautilus is the file manager that comes with Ubuntu and normally that's what this folder right here represents. Not for me because I've changed that. But to get to Nautilus we can type it in here. N-A-U-T-I-L-U-S and here it is displayed files is what it's called here but the, the name behind it's Nautilus. We'll click on that. It, it hesitates a little bit to open and here it is. This is what Nautilus looks like. Um, Nautilus does the job in most cases but I do have some issues with it. One thing I don't like is this breadcrumb button type representation of the folder hierarchy. I like this to be displayed as a path name here. Oftentimes I'll want to copy that and you can right click on it and copy it and paste it. Okay, that's one way to do it. And then there, the other way is um, you would think there would be a menu really close by that I could click on to do this, but a lot of things in Unity are like this. Uh, I have to do a lot of mouse travel to hover over this. The menu is invisible right now, but when I hover over this bar, there's the menu. Click on Files and go to Enter Location. So there it is. You'd think I'd be satisfied about this uh, fine point, but we will now close Nautilus and see if it persists my preference. Close. Go back and hover over the invisible menu. Oh wait, no. We've got to open Nautilus again. <laughs> so open Nautilus, and it did not remember my preference of wanting it to display the path. There are some advantages to having this uh, button representation uh, because you can click on any button to go to that folder immediately, and I can see some, advantage, some advantages to that. But still, I prefer the path name to be displayed. I like to always be able to see. Uh, the path uh, of where I'm at in the folder hierarchy because I guess uh, you know that's what you're going to type at the command line things like that I just like to know what it what it's called home is not what it's called that's not the entire absolute path so okay let's go ahead and put Nautilus down here and let's open up this application called Thunar we'll go through this menu to, to do it Okay, Thunar File Manager. At least it has the uh, the bravery to announce its actual name here. So let's click on it, and it opens very quickly. And one thing I like about Thunar is it has this right off the bat. But let's go back over here to Nautilus for a second. One killer feature for me, because I do uh, like to be able to quickly do things when I'm in a file manager is I like to be able to right click on a music folder where the music's right there and I'm looking for open with here's open here's open a new tab but there's no open with typically you go to open with and you can hover out to the side and it would show you a list of applications you could open with Nautilus used to have this feature but as I understand it upstream uh, they've uh, decided to remove certain features and that uh, those decisions have trickled down to Ubuntu and they're having to uh, deal with a user base that's used to having features that are no longer there. So if we go over to Nautilus, I mean, uh, sorry, if we go over to Thunar and right click on a music, it doesn't have that feature either. But I still like Thunar better than Nautilus. Why? Because it's blazingly fast. If I double click on a folder I'm immediately in that folder um, it's a little bit slower actually it's pretty immediate right now so I can't say that huh? <laughs> but um, I've experienced times when Nautilus is very slow I've never experienced a time when this thing just didn't instantly display whatever you do whatever you tell it to do it's immediate and uh, maybe hey maybe Nautilus is getting faster so can't knock off too many points when right now during the video it's being quick but I guarantee you this one's a little quicker okay so let's go to my number one choice for a file manager in Ubuntu right now it's called Nemo and I have it right here but we'll go through this menu to get to it we'll just type in Nemo okay doesn't display Nemo here but this is it 
click on it and let's go ahead and do a side-by-side -side comparison of Nemo to Nautilus on the right. They look very similar. Um, but notice uh, I've got my actually when I first installed Nemo it looked like this just a little different coloring for the uh, button representation of the hierarchy but when I did go to its look at this menu it's got so many more things in it when I did go I, I went and clicked on location right here and then it displayed like this and that's the way I want it to display and then every time after that that I've opened it it continued to display it in that manner that I want so I like the fact that it persisted my preference I like applications that do that um, because it prevents me from having to do extra steps to set it back the way I want it okay so well here's the killer feature for me with Nemo it's very fast like Thunar but if I right click on uh, the music folder I have the option of opening with now this folder I could open up with my favorite music player which is Audacious and it would queue up all the files um, uh, recursively within that folder, all folders and files, and it would find all the music files within that hierarchy and it would queue them up in Audacious and start playing them randomly if I wanted it to. That might be a real broad stroke. I might want to navigate into that folder and choose a genre and then right click on it and go to open with Audacious, but there it is very nice feature I mean if you're gonna have a file manager that's feature rich why not make people have the ability to do things from where they're at and if I'm at this music folder the quickest way I could possibly launch the files that within it would be to have an open with option and select the uh, music player and same thing with videos if I want to watch videos I want to go to sleep to a few different videos playing at night I can just right click here, go to open with, and go open it with VLC. And if there's another application that's not in this list, I can go to add it, and the next time that I go here, it'll be there. Another cool thing is folders, it's nice to be able to open them with this disk usage analyzer. I believe the package name for this is K4 Deer Stat. When you open up a folder with it, um, it will uh, rank all the contents of that folder in order of the size that it takes up on the disk which is great for when you're looking for files to delete to delete to make room okay so are there any other things oh one other thing I like having an up button here if I go into a folder let's go into this folder back will put me right back to where I was right that's that makes sense because that's where I that's right where I was but I like the up button it, it's more um, back doesn't necessarily mean up in the hierarchy I guess you could be at a certain location hit the back button and it go back to something that's not really um, I guess I could change the address here you know right now to something totally different in the hierarchy go to that page hit the back button come back here but the up button always clearly makes it clear to me that if I hit that I'm gonna go up one folder higher in the uh, whole file system hierarchy so I like having that button notice that it's missing a Nautilus over here Thunar Thunar has it too the up button I don't know what you guys use your file manager for another thing um, you know I like to be able to right click on a folder and open in terminal and that Thunar has that. Nautilus has that. Open in terminal. And Nemo has that. Open in terminal. But notice what else? They have another option here is open as root. Which makes sense that you might want to do that from time to time, especially if you're wanting to go modify a file that's in a outside of your own user folder and you are the uh, administrator of your own machine and you just want to open it as root. So you can see that Nautilus just has a few extra things that make all the difference in the world to an advanced user without really cluttering up very much. If you look at the size of this menu in Nemo and you go over here and right click in Nautilus, the size is about the same but the features I want happen to be over here. So I would advocate that 
Ubuntu consider making Nemo since it looks almost exactly like Nautilus but has a few extra features that people are complaining about missing from Nautilus here lately. Why not make this the, the, the default uh, file manager on a fresh install of Ubuntu? Seems like uh, Nautilus is going a separate direction than we than we want. So anyway, I hope you found this interesting. I know that there's other file managers that's probably superior to either one of these. You know, I've heard about Dolphin. I've really never used it, and uh, there's a few others. Well, I got a phone call, so and I'm at the end of this anyway. So I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.